Hello and welcome back to Freaking Ape Live. My name is Dinesh. Guys, today we are watching King of the Hill. This is the episode 21 of season 2. It's called Life in the Fast Lane. Bobby Saga. We're gonna be learning more about Bobby. I think it's gonna, gonna be like a day in life of Bobby. What does he do all day, you know? What does he do in the school? When does he come back? When does he poop? We're gonna be learning together today on this channel about Bobby's life. What does he do off camera when the camera is pointing towards his dad and mom? What does he do then? We're gonna find out. I know it's not gonna be like that, but it's gonna, I think it's going to be more like a day in life of Bobby. What is he doing all day? If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit subscribe. And if you wanna watch the full length reaction video in this episode and other reaction that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel, get early access to all of my reactions over there. And a really heartfelt thank you from me because uh, it really helps a lot. So thank you all the Patreons. Thank you for motivating me every single fucking day. Now that I've said that, we're going to jump into this episode. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Okay. Let's go. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Red? It's going to be yellow. It's going to be red. It's going to be yellow. It's going to be fucking red. Of course it's going to be red. <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking genius. That's genius. <laughs> That's cheating, man. Though it's fucking cheating, man. I'm dying of a in labor, man. Get him go down to hospital and have a right. yeah, Lamar's yeah. partner, man. Good evening, sir. Do you know what I pulled you partner. over? Because he was speeding. Oh. Want a rematch? Not here. This is a school zone. There's an amateur race at the speedway. This. That's a wonderful cop. And also, he thinks about the kids. Not here, it's a school zone. We're gonna race like a real man at a real place. He gets to drive the pace car when NASCAR comes to town. Whoa, man, you talking about that NASCAR, man? I've been trying over five years, man, to get on that dang old pace car, man. You gonna get me on there? Down on there? See oh, man, you're a dang old pace car, man. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get me on five years, man. I'm a dang old pace car, man. <laughs> here. That's a nice cop. Oh, shit. I'm gonna let that go. You know what? It's all right. It's it's fucking all right. Cause the move, the move that the cop made is a fucking genius. He could easily get a ticket, or at least he didn't get a ticket. But you know what? It was amazing. It was really nice. The cop deserved some money at that point. Look at me. Maybe I could be a race car driver too. <laughs> yeah, Bill, you'd be a regular Dale Earnhardt. If Bill, you your truck. Got stolen. Stopping for a ding dong. Or you can do like Jeff Gordon did and have a rich daddy. I hate <laughs> that Jeff Gordon. I bet I could be NASCAR's top money winner too if my daddy had <laughs> bought me a quarter million. No, car. you won't. No, you won't, Bill. You are. You're not that kind. You're not. You don't have that personality. <laughs> also, your truck got stolen. No, not stolen. He just kind of gave the truck to the girlfriend. Pay to the order of the bike barn. A hundred and seventy-five dollars. My dad never give that. You expect me to just sign this? <laughs> I think you have to or it doesn't work. Bobby, these checks aren't magic tickets. They represent real money that I, and to a lesser extent your mother, work real hard <laughs> To a earn. lesser extent. <laughs> that was jerk move. That was a kind of move right there. You want to end up like Jeff Gordon? I like Jeff Gordon. He's handsome. Oh. <laughs> Bobby, you're on the wrong path, <laughs> according to them. Public people are gonna think you ain't right. <laughs> hey guys, little help here. <laughs> See, that's why. That's Thank why you, you you won't be a good race car driver. But Jeff. But who's Jeff Gordon? Why they keep talking about Jeff Gordon? Jeff Gordon, American race car driver. Oh, this guy. Oh, I've seen this guy. Gordon is handsome and he's a great champion. Uh -huh. <gasps> he's the world's fastest Christian. He's a <laughs> fastest Christian. World is just gonna be handed to him. He has no concept of the value of a dollar. Watch. But that's on you, though. You teach them that. Do you think those shorts you're wearing cost? I don't know. They're pretty nice. A hundred dollars? <laughs> Not that much. What do you think the average salary is in this country? Well, Jim Carrey makes twenty million a movie. <laughs> even know the difference between but, so you you and teach 20, them 000. you teach him that bobby here's your dollar let's see what you can turn it into 
All right, Bobby, let's see. He's gonna spend it on candy or something. What are you doing, son? Did you use that dollar to start a shoe shine business? What? <laughs> you almost made me drop it. This is what you spent your dollar on? No. Tacos. I also got a quesadilla. All right, that's the menu. Well, thank you, Hank. Your plan certainly backfired. You spoiled his appetite. <laughs> Maybe it's time Bobby got a job. Hank, it's his vacation. He's just a boy. He should be doing... He's just a boy. Bobby, how would you like to go to cooking school? <laughs> Bobby, I know we've never talked about this, but someday I'm going to die. And when that happens, then you can go to cooking school. <laughs> Not on his watch. Well, Bobby, what do you think? The rope is soft and pretty. <laughs> it's what Boomhauer gets to drive if he wins his Bob is doing race. what kids do, you know? That's uh, that's a right mind for the kid. Hey, soda's here. Get your sodas. Hey, I'll Bobby. take one. He's your age, Bobby, and look, he's walking. I can rest when I'm dead, sir. You hear that, Bobby? That oh, is a good app. That is so fucking sad. <sighs> Maybe someday you can land a job like this. Why not today? Okay, yeah. Well, if you work for Jimmy, you're going to work hard. People up there are hot and dry. They want something cold and wet. You do your job, you make money, but you... Dude, why are you so itchy? You work if you want to work for Jimmy. So, if I understand you correctly, you're saying you'll teach my boy the value of a dollar. If you work not for Jimmy, teach. you're going to work hard. You okay. make money. The people are hot and dry. That but sounds... Did he skip that? It's scripted. He's just speaking dialogues. But my dad told me I couldn't leave this job until I got someone to replace me. Oh, shit. <laughs> good luck, Bobby. You're gonna need it. You look so good in that apron like a cooking school professor. <laughs> he doesn't want you to cook cooking school. Hey, soda here. Oh, guys, I got peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> Not like that, Bobby. <laughs> Why didn't you charge him? You didn't even take the money, Bobby. Bobby, what the fuck are you doing? He's gonna drink all the drinks by himself, isn't he? No, at least he delivered. Oh, uh, is that diet? Reg regular. Sorry. That's a cunt move right there. You should have told him all the Oh no, everything got stolen now. Uh, oops. Oh, Bobby. You know, maybe now this red Hank has to pay the guy to run some pit crew drills. Thomas Boomhauer, Bill, you clean the windows. Uh, Dale and me will take tire duty. Duty is a duty. <laughs> All right. Teamwork made dream work. Let's see how fast can you be? One, check. Tire two. Time out. Man attached. Man attached. You're good for nothing. Mr. Richard? Oh. Huh? What are you doing, Mr. Richard? And you paid me $72, but you also owed me 40 for a total of you owing me $88,000. <laughs> And 88 cents. What the fuck is that math? Okay, I, th I don't think this guy is right in his head. Here, Bob. Grab a Have root some beer. beer. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. That's you what can say about. yep too. You've earned it. Dad, I want to quit. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible, Dad. It's hot, and the tray is heavy, and my boss is really mean, and he calls me Tommy, and he wants- That's every job, Bobby. That's every fucking job. He might be a moron. No. My boss is threw chairs around while we were in the office, he, you know, whenever we didn't make any sale, and I just hated that. I'm like, okay, fuck it. I'm, I'm not coming back. I was at, at that company for 20 days, and I was like, okay, I'm done with this shit, and I left it. I didn't have any money to eat because, you know, I didn't got paid for that month. Cause I left that job so I just look for a job in, in a month and then I realized okay maybe I should save money too 
while I'm working, I should not spend everything. Those were the days where I would live only on 50 rupees a day, which is not even a dollar, it's, it's less than a dollar. I used to live on less than a dollar in a day because I didn't have any money. Bobby, I know your first day was hard, but don't call your boss names. That's acting like a baby. No, you should, Bobby. You should. You should. You're there to work and not play. That's why it's called work and not play. And if you don't understand that, well, son... That is true, though. Maybe you're the moron. Fucking shit. Maybe I am the moron. Remember, a good salesman always says yes to the boss. He approaches every task with a can-do attitude. This is that thing about me giving 110%, right? Right. Bobby, if you weren't my son, I'd hug you. <laughs> what the fuck? You, can, you should hug him. It's your son. <laughs> At first, I didn't think you were the best boss. I'm the boss. I know. I know. My dad sent me straight. I, I don't think he's right in his head. This boss is not right in his head. You bet I do. You're going to see a whole new Tommy today. Uh, how would you want to be my go-to guy? <laughs> okay. Okay. First, you go to the men's room and mop out the funerals. Then, you go to my cigarettes in my car. Then, go to back here. Can do. Will you get... Uh, you should ask, will, you, will I get extra paid for this shit? Dad, Dad, your advice really worked. Mr. Witcher promoted me to go-to guy. <laughs> I hope you'll still return my calls. <laughs> Find the job nobody wants and then do it better. He's already doing it. He's scrubbing the toilets. <laughs> You're the, the go to guy. Can we bring him in? Can we bring him in? His windows look pretty dirty. Well, he's probably low on gas. I'll set the flag. Hey, remember to keep Dale away from the. Uh, <laughs> of tires? Everything. <laughs> I'll get the windows. Dale, here's a bucket of sand. Hold Just hold it. Hand. Uh, hey, what am I supposed to do with the sand? Just hold the sand. You're taking too much time, Bill. All set, Boom Hour. Go, go, go. I think we did it, Bill. We kept Dale from screwing it up. Where's Bill? Bill? Is he inside? What the fuck is doing? What the fuck? <laughs> you didn't even realize it's moving? No, no way. You put it on. I'll do, Mr. Witcher. <laughs> Come, you keep wanting to do things nobody wants to because do. Because he wants the hard work, and because his dad My says dad so. My dad says there's no limit to what a guy with a can-do attitude can do. Maybe one day I'll even have your job. <laughs> the rest of my job. <laughs> you're fired. You think you're so good? You put on the suit. You put on the suit now. He will do it. He will fucking do it. They don't care. You could have cut that guy off in the last turn, but fourth place is nothing to be ashamed of. Hang in. Because of you. you. May not get to open the race Bill. tomorrow, but if there are just <laughs> three accidents, you'll still get to drive that pace. <laughs> Hank, the man's dream is no more. No, we can't give up now. You know, it was just the other day my boy wanted to quit his job because it was... And then he gave him a motivation speech. I think you know how this story ends up. Bobby Hill has become the... A hot dog. He has become a hot dog. Whenever I feel afraid. Oh. Hey, what are you doing up? It's 5.30 in the morning. Jimmy wants me to strain the bugs out of the front. He wants you to do everything, Bobby. He's using you now. Well, you know what they say. Find what your niche is, that leads to riches. The dad, the dad is why it's backfired. But sometimes I still think Jimmy Witcher ain't right. No. <laughs> but then I remember about 110%. It's nice, but where are the cigarette ads? It's nice. <laughs> this rope sure is soft and pretty. I noticed it when we unloaded my car. Just thinking like Bobby. The honorary pace car driver to start the race. Yeah, why is the woman line just so always so big? Meanwhile, men just go and come out. We need three accidents. Three accidents today. Ashes today. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah. So, okay, we wave this sign we around love and Jeff. Jeff Gordon sees it. Then he comes up to us in the stands and is so taken by our charm. And ask you out? One of us to marry him. <laughs> One of us. <laughs> Got a ring on my finger. Yeah, Aww. and big feet. I'm only ignoring that because a man is on fire. <laughs> oh, did she say big feet? <laughs> Two down, one to go. Bobby, these sodas are hot. Son, you got to find a way to be more efficient. Yeah. Listen to Mr. <laughs> Whitchard. He'll tell you what to do. Oh, he doesn't tell him anything. You told Bobby to listen to Jimmy Wichard? He was in my gun club. People say he fried his brain one day just staring at the sun. Of course, he couldn't have been. Usually, I don't believe in Dale, but I, uh, yeah, this time I actually do. Smart to do that in the first place. It's kind of a chicken egg thing. See what you did to your son? You make me thirsty. I need a soda. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah. Tommy! Don't go from here, Tommy. Oh no, Bobby. You're Richard. <laughs> Not that way. Just run across. No. Put the track. No. Back, talk to boss man. Ain't you never cross the highway? Run where ain't any car. This is not the highway, Bobby. Do it, you, you monkey boy. I'm the boss of you. Hank, your boy is gonna die because you ask him to do whatever the Bob says. So. Good doing? for you, Bob. I'm gonna cross you, the Hank. track and bring Mr. Witcher to soda. That's crazy. Why would you do something like Because he says so, he's his boss. Go to here, go to boy! I want a soda! Go to now, you! Oh, oh shit, he came through that! Alrighty! <laughs> Act so pissed, he don't care about dying anymore! Fuck me. You know sometimes you drink a lot of water uh, in one sip and then you swallow it in one sip and then you can feel it going down and it hurts you a lot. Like you can feel it in your pipe going down slowly and slowly. Oh, that was that just now. Okay, we're gonna jump right back into this episode. Ah! It's gonna kill you. <laughs> Don't underestimate Hank. You never underestimate a hill. <laughs> Let's go. You should be clicking pictures of that. <laughs> you apologize to Bobby. You apologize to Bobby now. What are you doing? Playing a video game? Uh, okay. Uh, I just wanted to say... I should have listened to you when you said how bad that Witchard guy was. Yep. I almost died. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> you worked harder this month than any guy on this block. So you deserve a new bike. Dad, I don't want money. I was happy before when you just bought all the stuff around here and there was no money involved. Just buy me a couple of pairs of short pants and we'll call it even. Oh. Well, alrighty, people, that was this episode of King of the Hill. It was not about Bobby's day in life. It was about Bobby doing his first job, which he was killing it. I mean, he was doing everything what his dad asked him to do, you know, give his 110%. And he was doing it, even though he had a shitty boss. I worked, how many companies have I worked for? I worked for one, two, three. I worked for four companies. And uh, like, as a corporate job, I'm talking. I worked for four different companies. All four of the bosses were just the fucking worst. Every other boss was just the worst than the previous one. It was always the case. The first job I worked, the boss didn't care about you. Like, he had his own boss and I understand that he's again, like, you know, he has to follow some things. He has to follow some rules and guidelines and, and the people who work under him, he has to take care of everything, all, all that. So whatever we do wrong, he gets blamed for that shit. I get that. But they won't even listen to like common problems. They, they wouldn't give me holiday because I was sick because they thought I was lying. And uh, and when I graduated, when I graduated college, I asked them to like, uh, I, I need a holiday and at least need a holiday because I need to take my parents to my university, which is, you know, 
four hours away from here so i'm, I'm gonna take my parents to there and you know th so they can see me graduate because my parents always wanted to see that because you know they they didn't go to college themselves but they sent me to college and they wanted me to see in that you know dress in that graduation outfit and I couldn't turn that down. So I asked them for a holiday and I said even you can deduct my salary. Please just let me let me get the day off. The answer was just direct. Nope. 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 I said all right then. Fine. Okay. I knew the day the day that my graduation ceremony was happening was the day I got, uh, I was about to get paid. So I came I came to university and uh, in the morning immediately got a message from the bank the the you got you got salary in your account. I'm like fuck yes. In the afternoon got a call from my boss like he's like where the, where are you? I said I'm at the graduation at my graduation and I had to be here. And I couldn't say no to it. He said I think first he was scaring me like if you go out you'll you'll get fired. At that point I'm like. I don't even care. So when he called, he like, okay, you can get fired for this stuff. And I said, I just said, I still remember that. I just said, you don't have to fire me. I quit. I'm not coming back. He's like, oh, you will be back. Bitch, I just made my mind. I'm not coming back. How the fuck? Who the fuck are you to say? Oh, you, you will come back. How do you don't know me? You think I can't find another job? You fucking stupid bitch. I'm a fucking IT engineer, and I'm I'm working in this stupid. Fucking technical call center support shit, which I don't even enjoy. I learned coding from my college, and I'm over here trying to fix people's computers and network. What the fuck am I doing with my life? And I always wanted to, you know, make videos. And when I say make videos, I never thought of making reaction videos. Although the first video that was uh, that I uploaded on YouTube, no, that actually that video never got uploaded. This was back in 2014, 2015, which I was making a test video to see how would I speak or how would I, you know, sound like on YouTube. So I made a reaction video at that time, and it was just like a try not to laugh, I guess, something like that. But I I wanted to make more like uh, movies and music videos and stuff, and then I started doing music videos, and I found another boss. Well, he found me. Uh, and I was a big fan of this guy. Uh, you you guys already know about Rock, and he was the best boss I could ever had. All the previous four bosses, fuck all them, fuck all them. Even if you compare all the good things about those four bosses, you would come nowhere near close to Rock. He was the wonderful, most caring, most helpful person ever I I could have in my life, and I'm so grateful of him. And uh, yeah, it's sad, and I I do occasionally cry about the fact that i'm not gonna you know see him again and uh, i can't talk to him because of the fucking covid he's gone now but yeah that was hurtful that that is hurtful but i can't i can't express i can't tell you guys how much he, that that guy has done for me like i'm this random dude from india and he's this guy from america who wants his youtube channel and he wants me to make videos for him. It was just a dream come true for me. And uh, you know, making videos for a, for a guy who I'm so, such a big fan of. And he was the most wonderful boss his boss ever. And after that, I think he just ruined me. I don't want to do any corporate job now ever, because <laughs> that was the best boss I could ever had. And uh, the next best thing is to you know work for myself. So I have my own YouTube channel now. Am I? And now I'm an, I'm my own boss, and I'm worse than all those four bosses that I had during corporate job. Cause I'm sometimes I'm really hard on myself, as we all do sometimes. Well, yeah, that uh, took a, a weird rabbit trail. But yeah, that was another part of my life for you to learn. <laughs> and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and like the story. If you did, please do leave a like, comment down below. Tell me about your boss. Tell me about your worst boss. What's the worst thing your boss ever did to you? My boss was, he was just flipping chairs in the office, right in front of us, right at us, almost hitting us. He never did. Or, you know, we, we always moved. If we didn't move, we, we got hit. But that's the worst thing our boss did. And even got cursed from our boss, you know. That was this for today's episode. Let me know about your boss. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a big like. And I will see you guys tomorrow then. Bye.